Well, it's been a long, cold winter with very little snow. Um, I usually don't do much in the winter. I like to hide. I'm a bear. Um, if you remember, the last thing I touched was a bunch of the Fiero stuff, which really hasn't moved. The hot rods right here hasn't budged. Uh, I got a lot of cleaning to do. The last thing I was messing with was these seats. And, you know, cutting up the extra scraps and stuff. All this stuff got to go. I got a mess. I got a few clamps. But, um, I got to clean up. And, uh, this stuff helped. Yeah, I did probably three or four brake jobs too. There's rotors on the ground and stuff. I got more nuts and bolts here and there and then sorting them out, putting them away. There's uh, the back of the roof. The top of the roof is over on top of that little ratty camper. But uh, I'm going to clean up this mess and this mess and push things in corners. And my back seat, the springs are over there. Whether we're going to use them or not, I just tripped over a piece of wood. <laughs> um, I also, I've been, I haven't been doing nothing, I would say. I've been um, cutting a lot of wood and pushing up the roof of my little house back there. If you look on the left side, see the roof's real drooped in the middle. On the right side it isn't anymore. That's because I've pretty much rebuilt the roof from the inside out, from the back to the middle so far. Getting there. That uh, house is 60 years old. It was once the size of this little garage, 16 by 20. And uh, back in the day, they didn't have any kind of rules or anything. They just throw a roof on top of a roof on top of a roof. Now I'm actually gutting out the old house inside that one. And throwing it out and putting on new beams and supports and raised ceilings and maybe a skylight, we'll see. But here's my steel. Here's my wood. So I'm going to clean. Bench is a mess. Stuff everywhere. But I think we'll push her outside. Make a lot of room. I think the battery's dead too, so she ain't going far. Yeah, we're going to push her outside. Uh, she's actually pretty heavy to push. All the leaves blowing in. The hell is this shit? Oh, springs for the seats. No, those are the junk ones. I can go in the trash. Alright, still cleaning. Yeehaw. I cleaned a little bit, pushed the car outside the day after. Still messing with this. My chop saw. Hey, chop saw. 
Ah, I got my tea and my coffee and my iPod. Let's turn on the power. Bling. Semi clean bench. Junk, 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 junk. Look at the mess. Oh, I got some, uh, these LED tail lights. I'm using them for the Fiero. I think they might go behind the Corvette lights in the hot rod. I don't know. We'll see. We're just sitting out here. I got the battery charging. Now I do. Um, sitting all winter. Any good? I don't know. It does hold 12 volts, so we'll see if it'll hold 14. Stuff to pick up. But this is, uh, this is the summer of the body. I have to do the body. I don't know how I got the thing running, driving, stopping before I even messed with the body, but um, I'm not that great at body work. I can weld two things together, but and I can support it and everything, but as far as doing floors, doors, and rockers and stuff like that, we're going to, uh, I'm going to have to take everything out of the body, put it up on some stands, and spend some serious time supporting and bracketing and bracing and you name it. But uh, she looks good. I mean, we got a lot done last year. If you remember the beginning of the year, it was nothing but, you know, a frame rail. I didn't have any of it apart. It was all over the floor, and the frame was out here with nothing on it. So, I mean, in one summer, we get a lot done. Hopefully, this summer, we get it all done, and maybe we can start on something else, like finishing the Fiero, which I refuse to get rid of. It sits out here. It's under wraps. A little Fiero convertible. Stretch six inches. And we got the Honda chopper, which is up here. The rims are up here, nice and safe. The engine's all wrapped up over here. That's, uh, that's a me and Hank thing. We're going to... Uh, I gotta clean it up, and uh, we're gonna make a frame. And not hard, but you know, not not as pressing as getting the hot rod done. I want to get the hot rod running, driving, stopping, registered, you know, all that stuff. More fun. My boat rack. Here and there, I get hardware and nuts and bolts, and I've never needed anything. But I mean, you go to the store and like, oh yeah, give me a dollar twenty-five for a nut. Are you kidding me? Um, work throughout this machine that had it came in bolted down like 400 of these things this 716s 400 of them they throw them they want to throw them out they keep like six I kept a good pocket full um, dad brings me nuts and bolts and stuff like that um, dad brought me drill bits now, I had a couple drill bits. My father gave me a case full when he uh, changed jobs. They ended up in his toolbox. This thing has got to be 300 pounds in itself. I <laughs> can't even open the drawer. Uh, I found these. My, I pull over on the highway. And my wife goes, what are you doing? I jump out of the Jeep and I run across the street. And these are laying on the side of the road. That's like 40, 50 bucks. I get back in the car. She says, you're crazy. I know. That's from Dad. So, um, what else? I'm going to make a list of people of the, the ones that I watch on YouTube. Uh, Richard Peake is one, of course. Everybody watches Richard Peake. Surma555 with his bus and uh, all the little repairs that his son does and welding and things like that. Yeah, I watch that stuff. Um, oh, I can't think of his name now. <laughs> it's, it's hard to remember the names when you get out here behind the camera. Or in front of the camera. Um, One Lonely Farmer. Awesome videos. Check my iPod. We gotta plug that into the stereo, but my uh, phono plug, my jack, doesn't fit in that little hole because of the new case that protects it. I smacked it and broke it. And I had to get my iPod fixed. I did the infamous pad in my pocket. I leaned over and it fell smack flat on the cement and broke it. $110 later we had a new screen. 
But anyway, here's my rear shocks. One of the many things that has to go on the hot rod. Little motor I picked up. Um, I don't think it's good. It's only got one sixth horsepower, 1725. Might be enough to run this. Maybe I could make that little grinder thingy work. We'll see. Big aluminum thing I got from the junkyard. This is actually an air dryer off of an old uh, Mack truck. I like the ribs. It wasn't broken. It usually hangs on the side of the truck like this. But uh, I thought it would have a hot rod use. Might end up melting it. That sucker's pure aluminum. We'll see. Can make some ends for it. Could be an air tank. Could be an air compressor inside of it. I don't know. It's just cool, and I haven't gotten rid of it, so. Uh, what else? Oh, maybe we'll get internet in the garage this year. Who knows? We don't want internet because uh, out here, it'll just get in your way. You won't get anything done. I have a few grinders. Well. Here's to the next hundred videos, and uh, thanks to all my followers. I'm back. Have a good day.